So I'm going to write 2AB over 5XY times. Now we're going to take this and flip this. So this becomes 4A squared B over 11X cubed Y. Okay, is there anything I can cancel out? That's what we have to look at. Is there an A down here anywhere? No. A B? No. No Bs. Um, a squared B? No. So it doesn't look like there's anything here we can really, anything we can cancel out. So we got, uh, let's see, 2 times 4 is 8. A times A squared is A cubed. And b times b is going to be b squared. And that's all over. Let's see. So 5 times 11 is 55. We have x times x cubed is x to the fourth. And y times y is y squared. Okay. So no, there wasn't anything that we can... Uh, so this, these are both equal. Wow, what an equal sign, okay? All right, moving on. We are going to move on to bigger and better things, hopefully. All right. Okay. We have um, 5x, and we have that which I'm never going to learn to do something before, I, so that doesn't come up anymore. 5x plus 3 over 2x minus 1, and that's all over, x plus 4 over x minus 2. All right. So I'm going to take this and flip it and we're going to rewrite this as 5x plus 3 over 2x minus 1 times, right, this becomes x minus 2 over x plus 4. Alright, and it doesn't look like there's anything we can cancel out here. So I'm just going to leave it in its factored form. You can multiply it out if you like, if you're bored, I guess. x minus 2 over 2x minus 1. But of course, this would be how we'd want to write this. And of course, you can multiply all this stuff out, right, if you want, OK? I'm just trying to get you to this point right here. So this up here is equal to what we've got here. All right. Click next. All right. Let's see. We are going to do. Ooh, better add a layer. All right. X plus seven over four x squared, and that's all over x minus 1 over 8x. So I'm going to rewrite. This is x plus 7 over 4x squared times 8x over x minus 1. I guess I could write this here like this is equal to that. Yeah. All right. Now in this particular one we do we can cancel some things out because we have a 4 in the denominator and 4 up here in the numerator so 4 goes into 8 two times. Now I'm going to write this like such, okay? Um, 2 times x plus 7 because we have an x plus 7 here. 8, there's 1x, there's 2x's down in the denominator and so we're going to be able to cancel this x out. So that's all we're left with in the numerator. And uh, let's see, so we canceled out one of the x's. We're left with an x, and of course,